This video is about advanced SWOT analysis, specifically using MindDoodle. Let's do a quick recap in case you didn't watch the previous video. So we start off with a mind map of all the various factors in our business or organization. Uh, and then we go to the SWOT analysis tab and we have five columns. So unassigned is where all the ideas from the mind map are at the beginning. And then they get dragged over into strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, or threats. If I go to the chart, we can visualize these. Um, we can see you know, where um, our analysis leads us. So if we have a lot more opportunities and threats, as indeed it seems to be the case here, which is a good thing. Obviously this is fictional, so you know, it is what it is. But anyway, now I'm gonna talk about advanced. Because what we wanna do is take this to the next step. So first of all, we need to understand that strengths and weaknesses are slightly different from opportunities and threats. The main difference being that Strengths and weaknesses are internal, so we have a direct control or an element of control over them. And opportunities and threats are external, so we don't have that same level of control. In fact, sometimes we have no control. Um, so what we do is we give them two values. One is importance and one is internal rating. Importance is pretty straightforward. It's just, is this really important or is it not important at all? And it's a value from one to five. Um, the default is three, so let's say this one is five, so it's very important. And we can do the same with a few of the other ones, change them around. Now, internal rating is just for strengths and weaknesses. And it's, is this a major strength or not a very, a strength but not a very strong one? Um, or is it a major weakness or a minor weakness? So basically, is it something we're really good at or is it something we're really bad at? And these values are one to three. Um, and these will be multiplied together. So we get a range of between one and 15. And then for opportunities and threats, it's similar, but not exactly the same. So again, we do have importance, but because they're external, there's less certainty as to whether or not they're gonna happen. So we need to look at, look at how likely is they're gonna happen. So internal rating is replaced with likelihood. It's still a one to three value, so the mass is the same. We still get a, you know, a combined value of one to 15. Um, but now if we say something is free in terms of likelihood, then we're pretty sure it's going to happen. And similarly, if it's a one, you know, it could happen, but you know, probably not. And again, if we sort of change the importance, we get different values. And we do exactly the same thing for threats. So let's make these really, really ominous, you know, are really important and are very likely to happen. And then what we do now is go back to the chart and see how that's affected it. And as you can see, the size of the balls has changed in relation to whether it's a one or a 15. Um, the analysis tool is fantastic and it's where you start, but you might want to tweak it. So for example, I might want to click on this one here, which is factor 14 in weaknesses. And I might say actually, you know, it's more important than I first thought. And, you know, we're actually really bad at this. And as you can see, the size of the ball increases. It also, if you, you know, hover over, it will give you a bit more information about it. So that's how you do the analysis part, or the advanced part rather, of the analysis. Another feature in advanced is that we can actually put in some text. So this is really just to capture our reasoning or our logic. Um, this is, I think. And one of the main reasons for doing this is that when we do the export to Word, these reasonings get captured and exported. So anyone reading your analysis document can understand the train of thought you went through in making your decisions. Another thing that's really useful is that in the analysis, um, if you click on it, first of all, it gives you a bit more information, but you can actually add tasks. Um, so if you want to do something about potential weakness, remedy this, you can add a task to remedy this. Uh, and similarly for strengths, you know, if it's something you want to capitalize on or improve, you know, it's a strength, but it's not a really, really big strength, maybe it's a 10, not a 15, then you might do something to try and increase that. And this is particularly useful for MindDoodle because with our tasks, we have an agile board. Um, it's a Kanban style, and you can see the tasks I just created. If I click here, you can see it's under weaknesses, and I can just drag this over and say, it's, maybe it's in progress, maybe I'm really proactive. Uh, so it's there my first spin. 
Agile is a separate function of Mind Doodle. There are separate videos, so I don't want to go into too much detail here. Um, just look at my YouTube channel if you want to find them. So this is a, an overview of SWOT analysis and in particular the advanced functions and advanced analysis. I hope it's been useful. Thanks very much for watching.